Brian Kelly, man, we've we've got him again. We've got him captive, and we're going to keep asking him questions. So there's something that always comes up in our conversations, Brian, when we were talking about what are we going to say, how are we going to – what are we going to tell the shop owners, right? And then you brought up something called accountability and then behavior. And, and, and the accountability aspect is how do you hold somebody accountable without – ruffling feathers getting them to a point where it's it's a clash of wills how, how do you make that happen in that environment and i love that question gary that's uh it's one of those things that uh i i learned this the hard way too and uh you know being being a high d on the disc chart um i'm a dominant i'm driver i i push hard and uh i've always been known in my circles of friends to love to lock horns with people. And, uh, you know, if you're doing that with employees, especially if you, especially if you're dominant, you're, you're going to leave a lot of bodies behind you. And, uh, this was something, this was something I, I thank God realized fairly early that, uh, I was, I was just mowing people over and, uh, and I saw Mm. it and, and intuitively, um, you know, leadership training later on helped me unwind this a lot further, but, intuitively i just i knew something wasn't resonating properly and uh you know whether it was the fact that we both completely locked horns um and didn't get anywhere because at the end of the day you're losing money if you're not if you're not producing so you know that might have been one of the things that pushed me too is that oh i'm not making money when i do this so guess what i better re- yeah. rethink how this happens um it, it led me to what we call soft on the person hard on the problem and when it comes to accountability, I can walk out there and I can go, why did you do this? And and I know the result from that pro- probably ain't going to be somebody who says, oh, oh, well, gosh, I'm so sorry I did that. You know, it, and maybe they will come off sarcastic like that, but but they're not they're not looking to own it when I accuse them. And, yeah. you know, that's when I think about accountability, um, a lot of us act in emotion and, and it starts out because whatever happened has offended, you know, and and I think about this, I was so wrapped up in the business at one time that when an offense happened, when something went wrong, it, it attacked me. It didn't attack the business. The business was me. And, and the emotion that showed up stopped me from being able to have that accountability conversation productively. And, uh, you know, so that got me into this, what we call soft on the person, hard on the problem. And, and it's really about the decision that was made. Um, and, and, and being able to dig in and, and, and look at somebody and say, Hey, Joe, uh, you know, I noticed when you check that car out, the customer, uh, customer went out, they pulled their own floor mats and seat covers. Um, and they, they had to clean up after us. Um, I'm just wondering why, why that decision came forward. You know, what, what happened there? Help, help me understand what was going on. And mm-hmm. in coming at it in that way, there's, there's not a, people don't have to get defensive. They can they can look at you and say, well, I'm not sure. Okay. And in my head, I might be thinking, it's because you don't freaking care. That's why. But it, but again, I'm not jumping at you with that because <laughs> right. I want I want to find out if you don't care. And I'm not going to find out if I accuse you of it. And yeah. and so that that opens the door. It allows them to see it. And and honestly, if I'm asking about it, I, I care enough to ask. So the response is typically now again I, i'll say this that you do get employees that don't respond to this and maybe it's mm-hmm. time to take them out to lunch and uh you know the the adage in our shop is if you go out to breakfast that's usually the challenging point right and uh you know yeah. it's just it's an action inside joke oh you're going to breakfast hopefully, hopefully we hopefully we see you for lunch you know it's the it's the <laughs> joke but but if you have yeah. that wrong if you have the wrong player you'll know and when it comes to accountability being able to look at the decision the process that got there allows you to also see if it's a can't or won't. And okay. and I always say when something doesn't happen that I want, is it because they can't or is it because they won't? If it's because they can't, we're going to train you. If it's because they won't, we're going to have a conversation. And if yeah. we find that they still won't, then it's time to go to breakfast. Time to go to breakfast. I love that aspect. Yeah. And uh, so, Wow. We've covered a lot in the last couple of videos, but there's just one more video I want to do. So if you're listening to this, I want you to click the next link below this one because it's where the rubber meets the road.